Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Marcelina at CashewGreens.com. This video is about converting 35 twigs into $350 or more. Plus a follow-up video on fog panics. Also, we're going to have activity today. So let's get started and see you guys in the other side. Alright guys, back in December of 2019, we experimented two propagating systems. System 1 with no clonix clone solution added into the water. System 2 with clonix clone solution added into the system. Now, prior to our experiment with a comparison between both machines, we were looking for a higher percentage rate success in rooting our cuttings. Then the time frame, when was the time? The cutting started to root and then the system performance after we added the chemicals into the water and also the kind of plants we propagated which are with the hibiscus, roses and citrus which of these cultivars were easy to propagate and easy to root. So those are the four questions that we were hoping for good answers. So this video guys I'm going to share with you the result of the experiment. The experiment was amazing. And then I found and concluded that the second machine with the Clonix clone solution added into the water has the higher percentage rate rooting the cuttings. Now the time frame period of rooting the cuttings was 6 weeks to 8 weeks. So those, those are the actual rooting time. Now the machine did not break. The automizer is still working. There is no sign of clogging in the automizer. So great. And also the there was the the different type of plants now we propagated the citrus the roses and hibiscus i found that the citrus is easy to propagate easy to root as opposed to the roses and then the hibiscus that's what i found the evidence that i found in the experiment and i'm going to show you guys because the some some of these uh, plants are already transplanted my partner couldn't wait for me to update this video so what he was doing he started transplanting all my my plants in here from this fog panics and started planting because he said it was taking for me too long to do the follow-up so at least he saved me some of the few plants to to show you guys the results so let's check it out okay guys so let's check this out this is the citrus okay look at that look look at that guys so the root is healthy and it's long so this is ready for repotting so this is the citrus and i'm going to show you the roses this the citrus root first than the roses and here's the roses guys See, look at that and it's not bad but it's good so yeah he this one here this much better so again this second uh, second system has the higher percentage rate in rotting so as you can see all of this empty here this is the result of the the cuttings that my partner is taking out all those cutting and rip, repot, repotting it so how about this i just put this one uh, it's not, this is uh, the bee laurel is hard to uh, propagate how about this so it's only a, only two it's not rotting uh, it's not rotting but actually they will root so it takes six weeks to eight weeks to root the cuttings so okay so for future propagation we definitely use the clonix clone solution so this is the clonix guys and i would recommend to add this one when you do your propagation and i love this stuff so again the second machine so how about the first machine here this is i'm going to clean this uh, machine because it's dirty and I want to redo them. So look at that. There's nothing in it. So this is the machine with no Clonix clone solution. Look at that. It's pitiful. 
so not much in here how about this one here let's check this one here oh this one has root this is the Billorel about this nothing so again the first machine failed the second machine is the 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 one that we are going to use so the way look at that the fog the machine is working automizer is working there is no sign of plugging so we're going to repot this guys and I'm going to show you the next steps all right, we're going to transplant our seedlings from fog panics into this banded pot. I mentioned this container in my previous video and I would recommend you guys to use this kind of container if you're selling your plants online. Because of the advantages, as you can see, there is a good drainage. The water can easily drain into these holes. There is also more rooms for the container for the root system to expand and grow. And it is a space saver because of the uni uniformity of the size and shape of the container that is easy for you to restack your seedlings. And by using this product, you can also easily to ship your plants in the mail. Now, transplanting. When you transplant your seedling, there will be a possible of transplant shock. So to avoid the transplant shock, I use the Micro Plus. This is the Mycorrhizae. I hope I pronounce the word properly. Mycorrhizae is a beneficial fungus that colonizes in the root system of the plant, protecting that root against invader, and it is also a buffer against transplant shock. So we're going to use this product in our seedling, and I'm going to uh, put this product in the and link it on the video so you guys can check it out. So let's get started and transplant our seedling. longer so I will cut the trim the roots but I had to spray the pruner so my root cannot be infected so this one here is too long guys so if you have this root this longer so you just have to trim them doesn't hurt the plants just trim it like that but make sure that you spray alcohol with your pruner and then I'm going to sprinkle with the mycorrhizae so you just need to sprinkle small you know just small pins of my mycorrhizae in the root Okay, now I'm going to put this one here. Okay, so then we will do the other one. So you sprinkle again. So when you transfer your seedlings, be careful you don't damage the root. Okay, so alright, so we will finish all of this. So after you plant your seedlings, water them properly. I use the uh, water in the fish tank. Mm 
Okay. Okay, so we transplant our seedlings and I'm going to show you guys how you convert these seedlings. This, there are 35 seedlings in the uh, Fagpanics. So those 35 seedlings, we're going to convert that into $350. Now I will show it to you on why it is $350 and what is the size of the plants to, you know, for you to sell there are 35 cuttings in each system and if you can root all those 35 twigs and convert them to 350 dollars or more what you need is just transfer them into a banded pot fertilize them well so they will grow healthier and faster then after three months you can sell the plants the size of the plants should be six inches tall so you can sell them ten dollars each so that would be 35 times 10 that is 350 or you can keep the plants a little bit a uh, few more months like what you see here this is the citrus so i i wait until few more months and i transfer them in this one gallon container so this citrus is not at ten dollars anymore so this is 25 dollars and i will show you this hibiscus that i propagated in the uh, cl cloning machine so this size plant is uh, priced ten dollars so again, you can convert your cuttings or twigs into 350 by selling $10 each, uh, each plant. So after you, uh, after you rooted all the cuttings in the system, then you repeat the cycle. Repeat it again, do more cuttings, uh, loaded your system, maybe add more systems so you can, you can produce more plants. So that's what I do here in the greenhouse. I rotate my propagation, I added more cloning machine so I can propagate more plants and then grow them in the greenhouse. Plant propagation is one of the most exciting jobs that you can do almost everywhere. You can propagate your plants inside your home, uh, inside the greenhouse, if you have a greenhouse. As long as you have the passion, the motivation, and the burning desire to do it, you will be great. And it is getting late, guys, so I have to end this video. The, it's raining right now. The rain is dripping into my hair, my face. And uh, again, if you have any question or concern, Please comment below this video and if you are new to my gardening channel please consider to subscribe and also share with all your friends especially friends who enjoy gardening so stay tuned and see you next time bye bye